viewed all those things according to Krishna consciousness to please the Lord and they pray to the Lord and they uh, off, make offerings to the Lord and they, and they chant the name, names of the Lord and in this Kali Yuga, this age of hypocrisy and quarrel they will also go on Harinam Sankirtan for the Lord. By doing these things uh, you can be liberated from the cycle of birth and death and have uh, and manifest your eternal spiritual body and go back to the spiritual world where we originally came from. If we did not come from Krishna uh, and the spiritual world, there would be no possibility of going to the, back to the spiritual world. The only, the only reason there's an opportunity to do that is because that's where we came from. And we are all the, you could say, children of God. We are all expansions of Krishna. Krishna has many expansions. Uh, he, he expands, his first expansion is Lord Balaram. And then there's the expansion of the material world, there's the expansion of the spiritual world, there's the expansion of all the jivas, the living entities. And so, so we're one uh, expansion of Krishna. That means that we belong with Krishna. But because we have limited free will, why does it say limited free will? Because it's limited to two choices. Either we choose to serve Krishna or we choose not to serve Krishna. Either way, Krishna knows what's going to happen to us. Now, the good news is that even if we choose not to serve Krishna and we get more and more degraded, even so low that we go to hell, there's always a possibility of salvation. Now, there's a major difference between Christianity and Krishna consciousness. In Christianity, the Christians are very adamant about the fact that if you end up in hell, you will never come back. That's not true as far as Krishna consciousness is concerned. If it was true, then God would be a, a mean person to eternally damn someone to suffer uh, or to be destroyed completely in, in, uh, in hell. But in Krishna consciousness, the eternality of the soul, number one, is number one, uh, uh, let's say, important point. We are not this body. Who are we actually? We are the eternal soul that's animating this temporary material body with consciousness. So there's no question of, of us dying or being injured. The only thing that can die and be injured is the material body, not the eternal soul. Okay, and then secondly, uh, even if we go to hell because of living sin sinfully, uh, if we take the, uh, the great, let's say, if we have the great uh, let's say, opportunity to associate with a pure devotee like Narada Muni, uh, who comes to hell, Narada Muni can go anywhere, and he comes to hell also. Then, uh, uh, by uh, having this association, even if we're in hell, even if we committed all kinds of sinful activities, we can become purified and go back to God. The most important thing for a human being is to have the association of a genuine devotee whose only concern is to please Krishna and to help all the living jivas or living entities, you and me, including even the insects and the birds and the bees and, and, and all kinds of living entities, to have a chance to go back to Godhead by coming in contact with such persons. So, therefore, there are persons like Narada Muni who are eternally uh, present in the material universe. They can go to the spiritual world also at their own will. And they are always spreading the glories of Krishna and giving people a chance to chant Hare Krishna or at least hear the mantra Hare Krishna. The hearing the mantra Hare Krishna is so powerful that uh, even the animals are benefit, 
benefited. Even the jivas in the bodies of trees 